Hello. As you probably know, Snagit is one of my favorite programs. It is a screen capture program, and there's not, I haven't found anything that it will not capture. Today's lesson, I'm going to show you why I would do a capture cursor with Snagit. So I have Snagit pulled up, and these are actually all the default settings. So I want to capture a region. I'm capturing an image, not a video. I'll do videos in another video. So I'm going to do a region capture, but I do want to capture the cursor, so I'm going to turn this on. By default, Snagit, the keyboard shortcut for capture is print screen. You can change this and click in here and do shift print screen, and so now shift print screen will do a capture. The trick is when you capture a cursor, I frequently will use the mouse to capture, but I can't if I'm going to capture the cursor, because if I click here, I can't capture the cursor because I need to put the cursor where it needs to be. So I'm going to use shift print screen to do my capture. So let me minimize this. I need to show somebody in this example in Microsoft Excel how to autofill. So I'm going to put my mouse right where the fill handle is. I'm in cell D2. I'm going to do shift print screen. Snag it capture appears and it says what do you want to capture? If I wanted to capture the whole window, I could click right here. If you notice, I have the gold moving border going around the window. But I actually don't want to capture the whole window. I want to capture from the word file down. And I'm going to stop right here because that's enough for this screenshot. When you go from Snagit, it immediately opens up the Snagit editor where you can do shapes and callouts. I use shapes a lot, so I'm going to go to shape at the top. Over here to the right are a bunch of different shapes. I use this rectangle in red a lot and in green a lot. You can always change the colors. But in this specific example, since I'm trying to capture auto fill, the fill handle, I'm going to go with an ellipse. I'm going to just drag it right there. That looks pretty good. And then if I want to, I can let someone know that that's called the fill handle. I could do just text and type in fill handle, but I'd rather do a call out. So I just did a shape for you. Now I'm going to do a call out. Again, I use this one a lot, plus I use, I use them all a lot, but I'm going to go with this default one right here. I'm going to type in fill handle. And there is my screenshot. So now if I want to share it with someone, I can just simply click right here in the Snagit editor. It says share. I'm not actually going to run all the way through sharing it, but I just want to point out all the different options for sharing. That would throw it into Word. That would throw it into Excel. That would put it in my Google Drive, OneDrive for business, OneNote, email, my Outlook would pop up, or if I had Gmail set for my default email, Gmail would pop up. So it's really easy to use Snagit. So I showed you how to capture the cursor. I showed you how to add a shape. And then I did a call out. And then I also showed you quickly how to share. I recently did a webinar on this for 30 minutes that I'm going to repeat. And I'm repeating it because I forgot to record it. So. Anyway, if you're interested in Snagit, uh, open up this YouTube video. It'll be right at the top under description. Feel free also to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.